G'day gamers, it's Nick here from the Video Game Connoisseurs bringing an update on the retail edition of Dying Light. So most of you would have heard by now that the retail edition of Dying Light's been delayed due to manufacturing um, complications. Pretty much everywhere in the world except the United States has been affected by this. Um, in, if you're in the US you can either get the game digitally or physical when the release date comes around. Whereas if you're in another part of the world, the only way to get the game on the initial release date is digital, which is fucked because the game is 15% more expensive. Um, for example, in, in the United Kingdom, um, the game's going to be £40 on retail, whereas they want 55 on the PS4 and Xbox One dashboard. That's fucked. Um, so anyway, hold off on the digital, I'd say, and just wait a couple extra weeks. Um, because the date which Techland's given us is the 27th of February, but um, say your store gets their stock in on the 25th of February, they'll have the green light to chuck it on the shelf because you know it's already been out for four weeks in the United States. Um, those of us who, have, who who are waiting on our retail edition, we get two um, DLC packs. We get the cuisine and cargo pack. Um, peop uh, these two it includes two hardcore missions which let players put their skills to the ultimate test, where they investigate buildings sealed off in the very first days of the outbreak. And we get the Ultimate Survivor Bundle, where players receive seven unique in-game items that will bring fighting zombies to a whole new level. Grab three special outfits and four blueprints for over-the-top weapons to make your survival in the quarantine zone a lot easier. So that's two-thirds of the season pass. Not too bad, I say. Not too bad at all, considering I wasn't even going to get the season pass. Um, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.